In this tutorial, we'll get you started making music with FL Studio Groove. Tap the new Groove button to load a blank project. Along the top, there's a drum and five synthesizer tabs. Let's start with the drums. Tap the label on any pad to select it. Empty means nothing is loaded yet. To load a sound on the selected pad, tap the empty selector in the top right corner. Choose from the categories on the left. Let's start with a kick. Now you can tap the pad to play it. Vertical position on the pad simulates velocity. You can also left right swipe on the selector to step through sounds in the category. On pad 2, let's load a snare sound. Again, swiping left and right through the sounds. And finally for now, a hi-hat on pad 3. OK, on to the score edit tab where we can sequence our drums. Swipe along the bottom to scroll the edit window position. Pinch or use two fingers to zoom. Snap, shown by the magnet icon, snaps notes to the grid. This is true for edited and played notes. We'll set it to one quarter beat. Down the left, there is a track for each drum pad. Tap along the bars to enter notes for that pad. Press play to hear the score. Note that scores always loop. Now let's go back to the keyboard tab and record the hi-hat track. Tap record, wait for the loop to start over again and play. Notice how the timing was a little off during recording, but perfect once looped. That's the one quarter note snap quantizing the input. OK, back to the score edit tab. Touch existing notes to copy their properties, then tap an empty space to duplicate them. To edit a note's length and velocity, touch and hold the note, then with a second touch, drag horizontally to change the length and vertically to change velocity. OK, so let's copy this beat. Swipe to select notes, then tap and hold inside the selection and drag to the new location. However, before letting go, tap the duplicate button. If you release without using duplicate, the selection will be moved. To delete notes, make a selection and tap delete. Cut, copy and paste work as you would expect. Now that we have a beat, let's add some melodic parts. Select the keyboard tab and now the first synthesizer part. Note how the keyboard tab will show drum pads or the keyboard depending on what's selected. In the same way as drum pads, we select synth presets from the upper right corner where it says empty. Let's choose a bass. Swiping steps through presets as before. So let's enable record and play over our beat. Remember, quantizing affects how the notes are recorded. Let's swap to the score editor and scroll vertically to find the notes. The tabs to the right relate to synthesizer programming and we'll cover those in another tutorial. For example, here we can tweak the synthesizer's filter cutoff frequency. Finally, let's add some chords. First, selecting a sound for the synthesizer tab and then recording in our part. You can also manually edit in notes using the score edit window. We'll just select the volume tab and reduce the level of the second synth a little. These are quick access to the controls tab where you can mix and affect your loops. Left to right, we have 10 drum pads and 5 synth channels. For example, selecting the glitch button decides what channels get the glitch effect applied. Tap and drag here to control the keyboard filter. And you can record any of these tweaks live. The 
The automation tab holds the recorded tweaks. The automation is recorded continuously rather than looped. You can edit in a similar way to notes, but the curves themselves are not editable. Just delete them and record them again if you need to. So let's record some automated effects on the bass part. And here's the recorded automation. If you want to undo your last edit, go to the main menu, tap the fruit icon, and then the undo button. Now let's save our project. From the main menu, select Save Groove. Name it. and tap Save. To load a project, just tap Load Groove, select the project, and open. And that's it for this tutorial. We know you'll be turning out some awesome grooves in no time. Enjoy FL Studio Groove.